Hi everyone, how are you? This is Ethir uh, Maher from Ethir Photography and I am doing editing for the page. So now, if you wanna to see me, please go to the uh, my page, Ethir Photography, and you can see how I edit photos. So first of all, this is the um, from here yes like this okay and I wanted to use this one maybe this is useful I don't know Anyway, it's not that clear that much, but I'll try my, my best. Well, I don't know if I can put this as well. So let's, uh, let's make this as well. So I'll do my best okay so if I change the camera to not yes yep anyway this is my uh, my broadcast I'll put the uh, how I do the um, things in here, I mean, just to see the the tools in here, so you can see the tools, okay? And on my web page, you can see the whole uh, photo and how I uh, make it. Anyway, this is the uh, film um, that I have all photos in here. So I just choose the best photos for the profile. I putting a flag, which pressing on P only. This is the P. Let's make a flag. Okay. And here it's. So I did the flag maybe uh, how much? I flagged about 10 photos but I found this one <coughs> sorry this one to be the best one okay it has glasses it looks like more professional one and I wanted to put it on my new company which is called UK Royal Academy now uh, what I did in this I just used the um, Iris and hands, check. So I'll make this, and now I'll go to the uh, Iris and hands, okay. And I am going to put <coughs> to paint on the iris. So I am painting here and here this is essential on the photos as you see the picture it's not in the focus um, exactly but that's fine I mean if I check this photo in here this one in here so you can see it's fine and I mean you cannot you don't need to be very accurate on profile photo on let's say LinkedIn or uh, Facebook because the photo itself it, it will be very small so at that size everything is fine for this resolution so it's okay now uh, go here and I wanted to just press alt key 
so I can erase the black spots in the center of iris and then this is my method that I am always duplicate this maybe you didn't see this before and then use the, the same brush to make the whole eye this is give me more control of the eye okay so yeah. as you see okay I'm happy with that so let's go to the uh, soft skin so now I'm on the soft skin and as you see here I'm doing the uh, now the soft skin preset it's extreme so I am using that one actually but I will not use the whole density of that one but it's nice to get that this is around the eyes one okay and then I will decrease the, uh, the density later so this is give me indication that yeah everything is fine in here like I make a makeup to the face okay so yes don't worry everything will be fine here here don't go to the hair because I want more clarity on the hair so now the, the clarity is minus 100 so I'll make it minus 50 almost which is acceptable okay Who see me on my uh, Facebook he can see the whole uh, editing on my page because I am live on uh, Facebook account and the Facebook page account and Facebook page account you can see the whole video or the whole editing So here I am doing the uh, the editing. Now there is a preset. I already made that one, and this is called. Uh, let's go to the new, and then. Uh, is it yes shine like wet shine like wet if you want to make let's say streets or anything to be shine or like it's wet one so you can go to the to the uh, adjustment brush in Lightroom and then make the contrast 100 make the uh, shadows about 72 and make the clarity about 72 or 75 and when you put the uh, brush to anywhere on your photo, it looks like you put oil on it or you put uh, water on it. So it's like wet things. So I will use it on my hair. And this is give me like a nice hairdress. Then I can use it in here. Now I want, I use that one, which is, I use it always for landscape. I use it in portrait for hair for a purpose. I'll tell you why I use that one. 
Now, shine like with the contrast is 100. I'll make it about 20. The shadow is 72. I'll make it 0. Okay. And the clarity, it's okay. So I'll make it about 40. So now everything is fine for the hair and it's look like very good one. So let's make this and just to compare between this one and this one. You can see the difference in here. So for that you can see that this one is better. Now let's go to the uh, forget to tell you about the uh, white balance and the white balance should be uh, going in here you can select any uh, pick any target neutral so um, I wear the gray suit so it's okay to put it anywhere in here just lift it and you will get uh, a good white balance anyway I'm happy with the result now let's give it a yes clarity general clarity it's minus eight that's fine and the that one yes everything is fine now um, I'll go to the uh, Facebook or sorry to the uh, editing this in Photoshop so now we'll open the Photoshop from the Lightroom and this is the picture now in Facebook and the other uh, social media they prefer the square uh, photo so I will make square photos as you see here so we can go from here to here and then even more like this now put the this eye in this corner so make okay now I am happy with the result I think if I am going with the close that one yeah that one now I have a square uh, result okay maybe I can go more with this so I wanted to put the eye on this one yes everything is fine now I I make square uh, photo so I'm going to choose the area then select modify expand and I will expand it about five pixels okay and then make shift F5 which is the fill content aware no color adaption and make okay just to get the this photo out of this one so now I think everything is fine yes almost as good okay now I'll make the new layer with control or command J and I wanted to choose the uh, face most so I choose it that one Let's shift and choose the with the magic selection okay I think now I'm happy with the selection I just wanted to to be sure that shift f6 I wanted to see the feather it's about two pixel so it's okay to go with the select modify expand with two pixels as well take it the same uh, feather so you can choose better so now I will delete the area yeah I can go more with this I think 
with this one, this one. Let me see if I can choose the maybe it's in here. Yeah. Yes, I can choose it. This is like Now I have problem with this, but I have um, a technique with that one. So let's make a new layer, just to understand how we make uh, this one. Sorry, I have to this one. Control J. Now, if you have problem with the with the photo and the selections, and you get these problems, so we'll go to the uh, command L which is the levels okay choose that one which is sample uh, an image to set the white point so I will take that one and put it on the dark point in here so now I am happy with the with this one Okay, let's make it again. If I choose this one and I choose this one, the same. Now let's go to the um, magic one tool. So now it's easy to select these things you will find here some points that you can unselect it by alt and then put it the this one this now this is and this is You can go with the now selection and this is modify expand we'll make five pixels and in this five pixel I'll make shift F6 and I'll make five pixels as well the feather selection just to make it so now I choose it from here but I will cut it from here, from this layer. Okay. So make Control J to make a new layer with those selection, and then Control J with a new layer, and choose reverse, inverse. Choose the same background layer and make Control J. So now you have this photo. And now I am happy with the result somehow. I can go more and choose the selection and make modifying and expand it to let's say 10 because I am not happy with the result. So the select, modify, contract by 10. Yeah, now with the hair it's okay. Now I'll choose the last tools, make alt, and remove the unwanted selection. Alt, because I just wanna the hair. Okay. And then I remove any unwanted selection. 
selection here to here yeah let's make yes I am happy I'm happy now with this one make a new layer this and command backspace to get the white background now I have this one and I am happy with the result I can use this photo okay but still I need more adjustment so let's come back to the Lightroom Now I get the photo with square uh, square profile. Now I'll post it with command shift E, which is the export. To edit it in a pro, uh, portrait pro program. So now this is the photo. No edit at all. So I'll make now the edit with the portrait pro app. And now it's imaging, it's opening the image and finding the face in the image. So will go to find the details I'll select mail as this is the mail okay and we'll uh, adjust uh, some selections because everything is fine only the this one I think need to be very sometimes beer can hide the details of the contour of the face so this is can help the program with choosing the uh, right one so this is the one in here one in here Let's go back to the right one. Yeah. I think I think if we take this in here and then make
Church. very difficult to to control the the amount in this program but it's okay let me choose this choose this do this this okay same thing in here. This in here. This in here. Okay. Okay. Actually, we we make this face. I think we choose the face. Okay. So now I'll go to the editing and see how how it is. Let's make it small and we'll see the I wanted to see the difference. Do I happy with this? No, not that happy. So I'll make this, but the mouth, I don't want to, to do something to the mouth, so I will leave the mouth as it is. Uh, eye widening, I'm happy with that. I can increase somehow. Better without. Now is the. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Face. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Neck. Yeah. That's good. Lens correct. Um, little bit. Head forward. Well, that's good. Okay. I make this, this, okay, I'm happy with the result. Please uh, follow me on the, uh, on the Facebook uh, page, Ethere Photography page, to see the details, because I put the other camera on the uh, screen, so you can see the uh, result and how I am changing things, okay? Okay, 
now I am happy with the uh, with the face uh, sculpture now I'm going to the skin smoothing I don't know if I am happy with that well it's okay I'm happy with that no problem now skin lightening and color I think this one is better as you see okay I'm happy with that as well I yes I'm happy with that I just wanted to increase the iris brightness brighten iris so if I'm going with this one to the to this it's okay I can even add a color let's see if I use the blue oh not good if I use brown and make this one just because my eye is brown so everything is fine let me check if I make it zero I make it this well almost same that's good okay this for the eye Reflection. Let's try remove the color reflection. No, not yield. No. Anyway, I am happy with the eye. Eye is the most important uh, point on the on profile we have to be very careful about it now with the mouth and nose let me see if there is something that change okay I'm happy with that so now I'm happy with the result okay So everything is fine now. I think if I remove this, this one is nice. Skin. Not that much. This one lightening. Okay, I think this one is better. Now let's save it. And I will choose Tiff and make OK. And save session as well. OK. Save session. OK. Save. Now I'll go to the um, this one just to see the difference. This is the old one. This is the new one. Old, new, old, new. So you can see the difference. Oh, I forget something. Um, sometimes we need to make, yeah, this one. Sometimes the, uh, eyebrow it's not appeared so we increase a little bit just to make it nice fill the gaps inside it and I think now it's okay so save to Save, place, stick, no, a little bit is 
Mascara used for uh, female, but it's nice to use it as a false, so, like light application, very light one, and then upper lashes. Okay. Very small one. Okay. Minus. Everything is fine, but I think here we have full stink. Here we have something not good. But here, yes, like this. Now everything is fine. This one also has a problem. Let's make this and this. this. So I think this color is not good. This is give you an indication. Okay. Something goes wrong in here. happy with this let's save it save things Let me check This one's better. Okay, so let's save the session. Maybe we need it later. Okay, close this up. Now I'll take this one. it on the same folder of this one then edit paste item okay so I pasted now I'll go to the library and import go to the 18th of February this is the folder that I put the photo on it it should be appeared yes it's appeared finally so I'll import it to the Lightroom 
and now I am working on it. Okay. Now I have here a very small dot, so I need to remove it. Okay. I'm happy with the result. So let's take it to the Photoshop again to put the logo. So now I'm putting the um, I'm opening the Photoshop and I will um, choose the logo. So file. Place embedded and then go to the desktop. I have UK Royal Academy. Where is it? There's a photo. Yes, this one. Okay. So now I have this one. I click on, on the corner and click Shift just to keep the perspective constant okay so now I'm putting the logo in here very close to it okay let's make it okay and let me check the perspective this one make this everything is fine this is on the center I need to be this one it's okay <coughs> I think I am happy with the, happy with the result now I'll save it Let's make a um, command alt shift e to make result of all layers and then now close it save now let's come back to the this one and as you see here I finished that portrait with UK logo I'm going to put it on the now I'll export it now I export it and now this is the one so this is the one As you see, I started just to compare between this and that. Let me show you something just to know the result. Here it's the okay. Okay. Let's make a copy and let me reset this just to see the uh, differences. Now, this is the start photo and then edit it in Lightroom and then edit it in Photoshop. And then edit it in uh, Portrait Pro program and then add the logo on it. So we start with this just to compare between this and that. I will choose this, this, and this one. Yeah. So you can see I started. 
start with this photo okay sorry I forget to put the just a minute okay I start with this photo okay I use the Lightroom then Photoshop then Lightroom then uh, Portrait Pro program then Photoshop put the logo and then I end it with this one so you can compare between this and the final result is this this one and the final result this one and now the profile photo is ready and everything will be fine so I will upload this to my LinkedIn profile uh, in my new company which is called the UK Royal Academy thank you for watching if you wanted to see the profile photo just uh, go and connect with me on uh, Athir Maher and LinkedIn and you can see the photo and everything related to that I will put the link for all photos of today uh, so you can see and compare the photos from the start to the end Thank you for watching and let's meet in another video Okay, thank you very much